In 2011, scientists from Chile found a weird-looking fossil in Antarctica that looked like a squashed football. Almost 10 years later, the rock just sat on a shelf in Chile's National Museum of Natural History with no specific mm. label. It went by the thing in the museum because it looked like something from a science fiction movie. When the scientists finally got their hands on the strange fossil, it turned out it was actually a giant softshell egg from around 66 million years ago. This one is more than 11 inches long and 7 inches wide. A regular chicken egg is just 2.5 inches long, and an ostrich egg is almost 6 inches long for comparison. So the thing won the title of the biggest softshell egg ever found and the second largest egg of any animal we know of. The only bigger egg that was ever found was that of the extinct Madagascan elephant bird, which is also one and a half times as tall as Michael Jordan, the bird, not the egg. The Antarctic egg is also special because it's the first fossil ever found in this part of the world. So whoever left it there must have been one big creature, probably a giant sea turtle that lived long ago, like a mosasaur. This is surprising because most scientists thought these creatures didn't even lay eggs. So this discovery could change what we know about them. The egg is also unique because it has a thin eggshell and no pores, which is totally different from most dinosaur eggs. It actually looks more like the eggs of lizards and snakes, but it came from a giant creature related to these animals. No known dinosaurs or flying reptiles from that time and place were big enough to lay such a huge egg. So it must have been a mosasaur after all, but we can't be 100% sure. Scientists did a lot of work and studied 259 types of living reptiles, like lizards and snakes, and their eggs. From this, they figured out that the mommy who laid the egg was probably at least 23 feet long, not counting her tail. During the late Cretaceous period, this part of Antarctica might have been like a nursery. Paleontologists have found bones of tiny mosasaurs and plesiosaurs in the same area, along with bones from the grown-up ones. Archaeologists in Norway made another cool but literally discovery and found dozens of arrows that had been hidden in ice for 6,000 years. They were melting out of a large ice patch in the high mountains, covering an area of about 45 football fields. In 2014 and 2016, when the summers were extra warm, scientists went to an ice patch called Langfoni to look around. They also found lots of reindeer bones and antlers there. Some of the arrows were whole and some in pieces, along with five arrowheads around the melting ice patch. This is more arrows than have been found at any other frozen site in the world. Some of the 68 found arrows date back to the Neolithic period, and the newest ones are from the 14th century of the Common Era. Ice is like the perfect time machine that can preserve whatever ends up there in an almost perfect condition. Langfoni became famous as one of the first ice patch sites after a local hiker found a 3,300-year-old leather shoe right next to its edge. Scientists are studying places like this to understand how people use these sites and how the ice patches from Norway to North America changed over time. Now, once upon a time, around 32,000 years ago, to be exact, a squirrel buried some seeds near a river in Siberia. Am I the only one getting the Ice Age vibes? Anyway, these seeds belong to a plant with cute white flowers. Thousands of years later, a group of scientists found these seeds buried deep in the frozen ground, about as far down as a 12-story building is tall. The seeds were surrounded by ice and bones of animals, like mammoths, bison, and woolly rhinoceroses. The mature seeds had been damaged, maybe by some squirrel, but some of the younger seeds still had good plant parts inside them. The scientists carefully took those out and put them in small containers to help them grow. And here comes the coolest part. They were able to grow the plants. Their flowers were shaped a little differently from the flowers of the same plant that grows today. After a year, the Ice Age plant even made new seeds. Based on this, the scientists suggested that permafrost could be a depository for an ancient gene pool, and we could find extinct species there and bring them back to life. Scientists on an icebreaker in Antarctica were looking for whales but found something way more unusual. 
The camera behind the ship, which is as heavy as a car, detected 16 million ice fish nests on the floor of the Weddell Sea. The nests were located about every 10 inches in all directions and covered an area of 93 square miles, which is slightly bigger than the whole of Washington, D.C. The colony even had a distinct border, which was a line in the sand. The scientists were in the area because they were studying a special spot in the ocean where the water was a little warmer than the water around it. In this warmer water, they found tiny animals called zooplankton near the top. When the young ice fish hatch, they swim up to this area to eat the zooplankton before going back down to the seafloor to grow up and have their own offspring. Since there was so much food, it made sense to see ice fish in this warm water. But they didn't expect to find such a huge number of ice fish nests, much more than anyone had ever seen before. New Zealand's Antarctic Heritage Fund found some old photo negatives in a hut in Antarctica. They turned out to be unique images from the Ross Sea Party. It was a famous failed expedition led by Ernest Shackleton. He wanted to become the first person to cross Antarctica by land, from the Weddell Sea to the Ross Sea, passing through the South Pole. But things went wrong when their ship, the Aurora, was blown out to sea. They had to use the hut from another explorer. Captain Robert Falcon Scott. His goal was to be the first person to reach the North Pole, but sadly, he didn't succeed either. The negatives were made of cellulose nitrate and were found stuck together in the small box. The trust took the negatives back to New Zealand, where they carefully separated them and discovered 22 hidden images. Many of the photos were damaged, but the trust could still recognize some familiar places around McMurdo Sound, a well-known area in Antarctica. No one knows for sure who took the pictures. In December 2021, some scientists noticed a strange mark on the Larsen Ice Shelf, a giant sheet of ice off the eastern coast of Antarctica. They thought it might be a river flowing under the ice, so they drilled down over 1,600 feet to check it out. They expected to find water, but they didn't expect to see that the water was full of fast-moving creatures called amphipods. The scientists also found that the water in the underground river had unusual layers of currents moving in different directions, which they still don't fully understand. Another surprising thing happened during their research. On December 20th of the same year, a volcano erupted far away in Tonga, and the pressure waves from the eruption were detected all the way down in the ice river in Antarctica. It shows how everything on our planet is connected, even in the most distant places. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.